Matt, good to be back at Microlock today. We're here to talk about a special offer. It's the Versa Tower. So, what is the Versa Tower? Well, it's uh, a 400 pallet um, horizontal tower designed for flexibility. Uh, it's not a big unit, it's only about 600 high, but we've got one back from a customer um, and uh, we've decided to, to sell it off, off cheap. So, uh, so th 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 important to mention, this is actually for a horizontal machining centre, correct? Yeah, this is a 400 pallet horizontal machining centre, but it will fit on any 400 mil machining centre. Okay, we've got four sides to it, and here you can see it's almost like a double acting vice, but it, it's not a double acting, is it? No, they're separate. You can put the fixed jaw down the bottom and clamp uh, a large part with it, or you clamp double-sided. But included in the set, we're going to have eight of these, eight of the moving jaws, and four of the fixed jaws, so you've got complete versatility. What's the difference between going for an option like this and just having a standard cube? What, what's different? Well, it's flexibility, mainly. Um, being able to quickly change your parts if you're doing small to medium batch work. You've still got the um, advantages with microlock. You've got the, um, the fixed jaws, so you're locating off that, so you're not needing to clock up your parts. And so you're automatically finding your datum straight away by the yeah, very fact that's... You know exactly where that is relative to your machine. So as soon as that goes in, you know where all the datum points are, and it's quick to set up and quick to change. When, when, when you're machining on a horizontal, you might be hitting the parts quite hard. You're not holding on very much material there. What, what's the idea behind that? No, but because of the way that Microlock works, you've got a, a wedge action in there, driving the part down into the fixed jaw. We can clamp on very small amounts. Uh, we can clamp on two and a half millimetres. So, and what sort of clamping force would you generate on well, that? On this size vice, it's about one and a quarter tonnes. Um, but we've also got the biting jaws if you need a bit of extra, extra power. So how, how's this going to fix to my horizontal? Is it pretty straightforward as well? Uh, this one is a edge location, so it literally slides directly onto your horizontal machine and you bolt straight down, so it takes uh, you know, a couple of minutes. Okay, so special offer at the moment. What t t tell it, excite us with the price of this, Matthew. Well, normally something like this would probably be around £10,000 for the cube and, the, and all devices. I'm selling this one only for, for 5000 so it's half price. I'm going to ask you a question here, which... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to sound technically correct. If you wanted to put this onto a vertical, onto a, a fourth axis and have it as a trunnion, is that possible? It is possible on this unit. Um, that's because we've actually got, um, got a sort of circle inside here to be able to hold it on both ends. So it is possible, but generally speaking, we would prefer to design something to suit customer requirements. So ideally for a horizontal machining centre, special offer at the moment, just 5K. Uh, this is a... Yeah, this is a cube and we've got what? We've got eight clamps and four locators. That's right, yeah. With all the end stops and parallels and stuff like that included. Right, before we finish, what's the difference between this one behind us here, Matt? What, what, well, what this we... is a, new, a new, new cube, basically designed purely for the uh, Matsua H300 machine. Obviously, we have one of them. Um, and this is a, a standard that we do for that particular machine. We sell a lot of them to Matsua customers. And this is utilising our 50 series but you can also put the big 100 series vices on there as well. I noticed that the clamping width is a lot smaller. Is that more common on the Matsura style machine? Uh, yeah, yes, because generally speaking on that machine, you, you might be machining smaller parts. So we've got the versatility of being able to use the small vices and the large ones on the same, on the same uh, queue. Okay, and you make these for Matsura users as well as other machine tool users, don't you? Everything, yeah. Um, Mazak, Mori, um, Akari, you name it, we make cubes to, to suit. You'll generally find though on a lot of Japanese horizontal machines, the cube pitch of the base plate is the same. They have kind of standardized, so it's quite easy to be able to do that. So we do 300, 400, 500 and 630 pallet size cubes. So there we have it, powerful and flexible work holding from Microlock. And here's a deal at the moment, this cube for just 5K.